Well, behind me is Cliff Cave, and that's certainly a landmark for residents in St. Louis County. But we do have a number of different species of bats in the cave. We have a big brown, little brown, tricolored bat, and then we have the endangered Indiana bat, and also the endangered gray bat as well. A lot of the, the cave bats that we talk about, like the northern long-eared bat, the Indiana bat, the little brown bat, um, those are three really good examples of bats that hibernate in caves in wintertime, and then they spend their summers underneath the bark or in tree cavities in the summertime. Most of the wood-dwelling bats will be out in the woods by the last part of March, first part of April, and they'll remain out in the wood, wooded area until about October. Then they'll retreat back into the cave. Recently, white nose syndrome has hit. Uh, it's a, it's a invasive fungus that's from Eurasia, it's spread really fast across the United States, um, and has killed off several million bats. So, like northern long-eared bats have disappeared very quickly because of this fungus. Uh, what we've done is we've done a tree assessment to uh, determine the potential for bats roosting in trees along the course of the trail. Here's one of the trees that we would be identifying, this cottonwood behind me, and the reason is it would have a high potential for roosting bats is because of the cavity that you see at the top of the tree, and good snag, good cavity, plus we're in a riparian corridor along the creekway where the Indiana bat specifically likes to feed. Especially Indiana bats, they have a high fidelity to a roosting area, so they're going to go back to the same roosting area every year. Now, they don't use necessarily the same tree every year, but if it's still standing, they will use the same tree, but they like to have trees, a lot of trees in the same area. Removing the trees in the wintertime is a great way to protect endangered bats. They are actually active in those trees during the summertime, and so take that risk of disturbing them or killing them in the summertime when they're actually in those trees. As long as you follow the appropriate steps and then, you know, building trails and greenways is awesome for, for folks because can, they can really see, you know, the habitat around. <laughs>